What up everybody, it's Jason, Zombie Collector. It's been a while since I've done a video, but that's because my new phone I had for not even six months, I dropped it, I broke it and busted it, and it's kaput. So I had to bring out this old, my old phone that had the crack across the camera, which you'll probably be able to tell during this video. And I wasn't going to really do videos anymore, and I thought, you know what, I don't care, quite frankly. People will watch the video. If they do, they do. They can enjoy it. They they don't have to enjoy it. They don't have to watch. But like I said, I've always done this for myself, not for really anybody else. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start doing these videos still and get into it. So this is a most of this will be wrestling. So again, if you're not interested in wrestling, you probably don't want to watch this video. No rhyme or reason. Just some pickups for the collection. MJF 2022 Gold Parallel here from the upper deck right there. Next up, this is from the 1990, uh, oh shoot, what is it? Titan, or Classic Games, of Haku hitting, kicking, I should say, Andre the Giant right in the teeth, right there. This is WrestleMania, what is this? Four, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, there you have that. We got Andre the Giant right there. This is from 1990 as well. Tell the, tell the referee to get the hell out of the ring. So there you have that. And then we have Lance Archer, AKA Vance Archer. Uh, this is his rookie card, which I did not know when I bought it. I just was like, oh, I don't have this card of Lance Archer. So I wanted to pick that one up. So there you have that. There, oh, look, he got, look, he has MVP. That was like MVP that's getting ready to take a take a bump, looks like. So I didn't even realize that Lance Archer was even in WWE there for a while. Next up, we got some Ultimate Warrior. Here he is uh, laying out Undertaker in the 2022 Select. This is ringside. So there you have that one. And then this is um, Select also, Ultimate Warrior. And this is the red and blue variation. I'm, I'm not really good with some of these variations, as most of y'all will be able to tell. And this is Premier Level, is what it says on the back here. So there you have that. And again, I'm going to probably say this a lot. I apologize for probably the shady... Uh, camera uh, work but that's the best I can do right now 1990 Ultimate Warrior I don't believe this is considered a rookie card I think there's a couple in 89 that might be more considered a rookie card but this is a great image absolutely great image of uh, Ultimate Warrior the Dingo Warrior the old Dingo so there you have some Ultimate Warrior action from Brazil Indiana I will have you know. I think he actually named one of his daughters Indiana. Then we have a Chronicles. I think that's just a regular base card. From Parts Unknown. I just called it out. Is it Parts Unknown? It's really from Brazil, Indiana. I've been to uh, the area he grew up in uh, years ago when I was in college. There's a story there. I'll have to share it with someday. So there you have that. We got one Jake the Snake Roberts from Stone Mountain, Georgia. So they say, I believe that's where they pick uh, right there. And this looks like some jobber that he has the Damien on there. But there you have Jake the Snake Roberts. Uh, that's from 1990. Then I got a, a cornucopia of Oscar cards. So here, this is a NXT card from 2022. I'm a big fan of Oscar. I don't watch WWE religiously, but I have been uh, recording all the vi all their episodes every every week, and then kind of going back and just fast forwarding through the stuff I have no interest in, and just catching some of the matches of some of the wrestlers. Oscar be one of them, even though she hasn't been on TV a lot recently. I don't think, but at least I haven't seen her stuff. But I do watch her stuff frequently. I try to. There is uh, from Prism from 2023 from this year. I think this is Ice. 
if you can see, I think that's an ice pattern. And again, with the camera being what it is, it may not be super clear. So there's that one. And then I have two of the same car because I apparently I didn't know what I was doing as usual. This is uh, Asuka from Revolution. So same card. Good looking card. Probably will just throw one up on eBay for a quarter and see if I get some movement on it. It's on the old bay. Then we have Ring Royalty of Macho Man, Macho King right here. They call him, they don't go, they don't go, oh, they call him Macho Man here, but he's wearing the crown, so he technically should be Macho King, I think, right? Up here at the top, it says Macho Man Randy Savage. But he should be Macho King. Macho, Macho Man. So there you go there. Good stuff. And then you have this one here. I think this is um, oh, what Legends, I think this is called Legacy. This is a cool one from Legacy. He has snakes on here. Is this a homage to Jake the Snake Roberts with the snakes? So... I highly recommend, guys, and I and I need I need to tell myself this. On a lot of the cards, even from back in the olden days, there are there is quite a bit of good information on the back of the cards. They'll tell you little excerpts about the wrestler's career, about a specific match, maybe about that specific the car that the picture was taken. It is really good. It's the history of the of the of wrestling on the back of these cards that they a lot of times will put on here. So it's worth taking a look. I know sometimes we get caught up with number cards and autographs and relic cards and PMGs and, you know, uh, glossies and short short prints and serial numbers and all that. And we forget to, to really appreciate the card and who's on the card. Sometimes we get so hung up on all the frivolous stuff, we don't really remember why we, why we uh, you know, collect. So it's really important. So I want to read this because I brought it up, so let's do it. It says... In one of the more terrifying moments in WWE history, Macho Man Randy Savage was targeted by Jake the Snake Roberts and attacked with a live King Cobra. Savage, who had retired from competition in WrestleMania 7, petitioned to be reinstated and got his revenge with a win over the Snake at this Tuesday in Texas in 1991, which I did not know that even happened. I knew about the uh, WrestleMania uh, spot with the King Cobra, but I did not know about this Tuesday in Texas, 1991. He got reinstated to take on Jake Roberts with a win, apparently. All right, next up we have, I believe this is a uh, concourse from 2022 with all the tassels and all the streamers that are hanging off of the Macho Man Randy Savage. So there you go. Very good looking card, if I do say so myself. Alright, next up is uh, Brian Danielson now, which is I the, the name I prefer him under, considering uh, I'm an AEW guy, I'm an A-Dub guy. This is from uh, 2011 Champions, I think. And he has, I don't know who that is. The, I can't tell who that is. I look like Ted DiBiase Jr. That's probably wrong. And some sort of like... Uh, was that an arm arm lock arm bar? So, anyways, but yes, there there's that huge fan. He's been killing it with WWE. Or I'm saying AEW recently. He had been injured, then he came in like a cannonball to cover for CM Bunk when he got bounced from the company, and he came in like a true champ and kind of took over some programs uh, with Ricky Starks and kind of kept it going with uh, BCC. And he's been working behind the scenes, and apparently that will continue. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Brian Danielson. So that's a card. That's one of his earlier year cards. Apparently, I got some Oscar cards I forgot about. So we got the Oscar card in this select from 2022. This is, of course, a Japanese flag in the background. It says Global Icons. I thought this was a cool looking card. She's always had some cool makeup looks. I mean, she's always done some really cool things with makeup and her costumes and attire. So I always really respect the uh, Asuka game. 
And it, today they just released uh, a, a, a WWE's been releasing a lot of people uh, over the last day or so, last 24 hours. They released a couple more today with a big name. I did right before I got on here, they released Matt Riddle. So that's kind of that's uh, kind of a shock to be honest, because he's been a main player for quite a while. He's been in a lot of. I mean, I just watched, like I said, a couple matches he'd done in the last week or so. And he's gone. I think he just did one with Drew McIntyre a couple days ago. So I guess he caused him some trouble. There was like an incident at the airport. I'm not for sure all the details about it because, quite frankly, I didn't care. But, uh, um, you know, he's a good wrestler. But apparently there's some some things going on maybe behind the scenes. And so they let him go. So that was kind of a surprise because he's been around for quite a while. Another Oscar card. This is a little bit older from 2018. I think it's just a base card. No, this is some sort of uh, smack smackdown. This is R twenty one, so I'm not really for sure what the R stands for, but it is like I guess some sort of insert. So there you go, Asuka. And then we have one where she always she always likes to wear these masks. This is another insert of some sort from Asuka from also NXT. So there's that. And then we have Next Level, and this is a green. I believe there's a couple different versions of this card out there. Not all of them are, they're gonna be different colors down here, here, down here, down here. This is a Prism from 2022, but Next Level, Asuka looking, I mean, that's a great color for this card. You have all the color in the background. She has the color coming from her eyes and her mouth, which is what she does a lot. I'm not really for sure there's a significance behind that other than just to try to look cool or creepy, but there you go. And then lastly, the gold, which I think there's a couple of variations of this too. I think there's a silver, there might be a regular. Uh, this is uh, from 2022 as well, Prism. She's only five foot three from Osaka, Japan. Osaka Nihon or Nippon. But yeah, only five foot three. It's so crazy to think she's only five foot three. She feels like a giant sometimes with some of the stuff that she does out there in the ring. So that's just a testament to her wrestling ability that she wrestles bigger than she is. And believably, I guess that's the other thing. So guys, anyways, that is it. So that's the first stack. I have multiple stacks coming that I need to do. So until next time, I appreciate you all watching. Thank you. Peace.